ERC6551 seems to be catching on with these new NFT token bound accounts, but there's one small problem. How do you see them? If you go to any marketplace like OpenSea or Rarible, you're not gonna see what your NFT owns, whether it's other NFTs or assets or things like that. Hey, my name's Steve and I'm the head of Community for Pinata, and today I'm gonna show you how you can fix this with a ERC6551 iframe. This is a very interesting way of going about this where you embed an application URL inside the NFT metadata, allowing you to view your NFT token bound account. Now stay aware that this is a slightly more technical tutorial. You will need access to things like GitHub and Vercel, but I'll try to walk you through as simply as I can and we'll just knock this thing out. With that said, let's get into it. Right, so just to start, I wanna go ahead and show you exactly what it is we're gonna be building. So inside of tokenbound.org, I can actually look and see all the different NFTs my uh, NFT owns as well as other assets. But the problem is if I go to OpenSea, I typically can't see this. However, with an iframe, this is possible. Let's show you how real quick. So this is the same NFT on OpenSea, and I actually have a special thing. It's hard to see here. It's a little button, you press it, and you can actually see all the assets owned by this NFT. It's pretty sweet. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and upload our content to Pinata. That's gonna be just our standard NFT image. And I'm gonna basically walk you through how to create the NFT as well as how to do this. So I'm gonna go in here, gonna upload this picture of Penny. Very simple, uploading. And now we need to go ahead and copy the CID and we're gonna open up a metadata file that we can edit. If you don't have this file, you can go ahead and use the template down in the link below. So here is our metadata file. And you can see here this uh, image is IPFS colon slash 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 and it goes CID goes here. So I'm just go ahead and paste that in here real quick. That's our image. Now let's go ahead and change the name of this. We'll just go ahead and call this Penny the Pinata full of whimsy. We're going to go ahead and have our website there. It's all set to go. We can go ahead and save this file. And back in Pinata, we're going to go ahead and upload this metadata file too. And you want to go ahead and copy that CID as well. Now we're going to go to Open Zeppelin where we can create a very simple smart contract. And it's going to have one little bonus thing in there and I'll show you what that is in just a second. But first we're going to go ahead and select ERC721 because our NFT needs to have this in order to do a token bound account. We're going to call this Penny the Pinata. Let's call the symbol Pin. That's what works here. And we're just going to do leave the base URI empty, mintable, auto increment, IDs, burnable, possible, and URI storage. And we're going to go ahead and click on open and remix. And this is going to take us to remix, which is a Solidity text editor that works online. It's very nice. And you can see it just imports all of our code from Open Zeppelin, which is really nice. But we're going to add one little extra function here. Under function, we're going to do a new function. We're going to do function set token URI. And let's see here. And this is going to take in a UN, UINT256, and that's gonna be the token ID. And it's also gonna go ahead and take a string memory, and that's gonna be URI. And this is going to be a public only owner function. Open it up, and we're just gonna go ahead and implement the set token URI function that's included with ERC721. So you underscore set token URI. And simply just going to pass in the token ID and the URI. Now, just to make sure this works, you go ahead and hit compile contract. It's going to make sure that everything's running as it's supposed to. And it looks like we got the green check mark, so we are all set to go. Now we can go ahead and deploy this contract. And you can do that with uh, lots of different things. I'm going to use the injected provider MetaMask. This will make sure that it's actually deployed to Gorily which my wallet is connected to right now. And we'll go ahead and hit deploy. It's gonna ask us to sign, pay for the gas fees. Now we just wait for the contract to finish deploying. Once it's deployed, you'll see the green check mark here and you'll also see deployed contracts right here. So here we're gonna go ahead and do the safe mint function. So in this, we're gonna pass in a wallet. I have a little shortcut here. So that's our wallet address. We're gonna mint the NFT to. And then we need to go ahead and do IPFS colon slash slash and then paste in the CID of the metadata file that we had earlier. All right, and now we can just hit transact. It's gonna mint our NFT to our wallet and confirm. All right, looks like it's minted. So we can go ahead and check it by clicking copy contract. 
And I'm just going to go to testnets.opensea.io. Paste in our account. And it might take a while for it to index and show up so we don't see it just right away. But if we go to our wallet, we should be able to see it. Here we go. We have Penny the Pinata. Take a little while for the image to load up, but there it is. Full of whimsy. All set. Now the next thing you need to do is go ahead and add a token bound account for this. If you want a full tutorial on how to do that, there's kind of two ways to do it. I'll leave a link down below for both of those, but just make sure you have created it. Maybe send it some assets so your NFT is ready to display in an iframe. Now we have all that set up, the next thing to do is actually get started on our iframe. And to do that, we're going to start at alchemy.com. And this is where we're going to create an Alchemy API key, which the iframe will use to index the NFT information, get its information, get all of the stuff about it, the image, all that stuff. So do that. It's very simple. We just go to Alchemy, sign in, get a free account. We can go ahead and go to apps and get create new app. I'm going to do the Ethereum chain on a Gorily network. And I'll just give this a name. iframe 6551. Create app. And there we go. And you want to go ahead and copy this API key. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you, and I will delete this after this video, so don't think you're getting anything for free. But I'm going to go ahead and copy this and save that for later. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and go to GitHub and go to the repo of the token bound iframe. This is made by the people who have been creating ERC6551, and we just need to go ahead and log in and fork this repository so it'll show up in our account. So I'll just click fork, and I'll just call this iframe6551 and do create fork. Once that's done, you should see it under your own account and the name of the repo. And now let's go ahead and go over to Vercel so we can deploy it. So inside Vercel, all we have to do is click add new project and we'll do iframe6551, which is the one that we just created, do import. Now there's one last step we need to do to make sure this works. If we go back to the GitHub repository, there's going to be an env example file with all of the variables our app will need to run. So back in this file here, you'll see .env.example. You want to go ahead and copy all of this, put it into your text editor, and make sure you paste in the alchemy key here that we got earlier. Once you have that, you just want to go ahead and copy all of it, including the key, so we can use it in first step. So you can see here in my text editor, I went ahead and put all of the, put this one key in, everything else is already there. I'm just going to head and select all of it. And here's where the magic happens with Vercel, which I absolutely love. Instead of going in and manually pasting all those in, just go to environment variables, start with the first one and hit paste. And it's going to paste in everything from our env file that we copied. Very, very nice. And then we just hit deploy. Once our app is deployed, we want to go ahead and visit the link here. And it just looks like a normal home page, but the magic happens is when we access an NFT through it by using the URL path. Let me show you how that works. So what I'm gonna do is I open up the URL here. I'm gonna paste in our smart contract address for our NFT and a, a number for the token ID. And the next thing we're gonna do, since this is on a testnet, Gorily, we're gonna do a slash and add five for the testnet Gorily. Go ahead and enter. And this is going to load up our NFT with its token bound account. And it's going to be an interactive application where we can click on it and see the assets that's owned by it. Now to make this actually work on OpenSea, we're going to copy this URL here. And we're going to go back into our text editor and open up that metadata file. And inside our metadata file, we're going to add an extra line here. And we're going to do animation URL. And we're going to do commas. And we're going to paste in this entire app URL here. We're going to save that and then go ahead and upload this file to Pinata as well. Now, back in Remix, where our smart contract is, we're going to go down to that function that we made custom put into the smart contract for set token URI. We're going to put in the token ID. And we're going to do IPFS colon slash slash just like before and paste in the new CID that has our animation URL inside of it. Go ahead and transact and sign that transaction. Once we're back in OpenSea, now that you've made that change, you wanna click on this refresh metadata button, give it a few minutes, and then you should see a little bit something different. So to just an image here, we have a little token bound icon. Click on that, there we go. 
And there is our token bound account for NFT showing up on OpenSea. Well, that wraps it up for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And until next time, have a good one.